Now at five, a wrongful death lawsuit has been filed after investigators confirmed the death of a local nurse was a homicide. So Jessica Schmidt has new information from this case from the alert desk. And there is a lot of it, so bear with me here. This investigation started back on June 1st when investigators say 28 year old Carissa Stevenson, a local nurse, showed up at Jewish Hospital unresponsive. A Sycamore Township police report shows that Stevenson's fiance, 40 year old Brian Soder, drove Stevenson to the hospital after he said he found her not breathing. Officers say Stevenson was naked and already dead when she got to the hospital. Investigators say Soder told them Stevenson was drunk the night before and fell down the stairs multiple times. Reports show he said Stevenson was unresponsive but still breathing, so he left the house the next day, the morning of June 1st, to go to Paycor Stadium to get a TV. It wasn't until that afternoon he said he noticed she was no longer breathing, so that is when he took her to the hospital. Five days after Stevenson's death, Soder, reports show from the coroner, took his own life. The Hamilton County coroner has also since confirmed that Stevenson's death was a homicide caused by blunt force trauma. So now the administrator of Stevenson's estate is suing Soder's estate for wrongful death. The lawsuit claims that Soder was responsible for what happened to Stevenson. It's also asking for more than $10 million from Soder's estate. Police reports do list Soder as a suspect in that homicide investigation. At the alert desk, Jessica Schmidt, Fox 19 Now.